battery charge yeah, still holding up. Sure Good. Yeah. Gonna run out of space pretty soon. moving. Mm-hmm. 75. Says Captain Obvious over here. Maybe I can wave to the helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> if we're going to have to go, it might be worth looping back around Guadalupe or something, see if there's anything back on yeah. that other side. You want to do that? Yeah, might as well. I don't see this advancing. Yeah. But you're a bit more experienced with the, the roaming. There's a, quite a bit more patience involved here, whereas on 6th, it's... Yeah. And it's over. Yeah, this is why I think if they were going to find him, likely they would have by now. That's what I was thinking. But they're just not going to give up. accidentally tased somebody and so they made him this cake. <laughs> yeah, I know, I saw that. Okay. Hey, something. You ever wonder if they're as bored as we are? 
Might be. I wonder that on six. And when, when we're in the standoffs, when like nothing's going on, and we're just you know shadowing their their station. I wonder that. There's a big difference. They're getting paid. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm putting myself just as much danger. Just about. Almost as much. Sitting here. Not ten away. Lights lit over there. Oh, that's just a normal one. Should we clear you off this call? Take molds to hide out in the DPS account. <laughs> <laughs> it won't look for me in here. No <laughs> worries, I can't move at all. Fast cat. There, that got some of that cold fresh air in here. Well, they don't have a very good perimeter because they let us out of it without checking trunk and everything else. Since it's not live stream, we can say stuff like that. Yeah, we'll show up on full video, but I don't think I'll be posting this and saying, wow, this is a big exciting night. It may just kind of get posted and this is what we did that night. Yeah. Weird note. Oh. Oh, I can see him. You see these little rice balls? Mm -hmm. And then it shows little rice balls getting taken out by the chopsticks. Then it shows a cartoon drawing of them. And it's one of them screaming, please don't go. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. Big thing about tonight, even though we didn't come across much, we have what's seen outwardly Black Star team with Peaceful Streets Project. Mm -hmm. That's what we get to, to shut out. Charles William Zero Six. Um, Just a good step. Not good. 
bed. I got a, I got a long night to go. <laughs> I'm not that sleepy, and I should be going home and going straight to bed. Well, let's see. Sunday, Monday night, people started coming in from my uh, roommates. Big party on Saturday. They started coming in from Dallas. and said they were partying all night. Partying before the party. The party's party. Because I couldn't sleep at all. And I don't want to be that guy, you know? Yeah. I moved into a student housing, like, quiet down. <laughs> you kids, turn it down. Yeah, I mean, I'm already 28. I got like eight to nine years of them. <laughs> so, but then, you know, of course, the next night was. I woke up in the morning and was like, let's do this. Let's. Why not? Why not now? Why wait until June? Sends it up ahead. Yeah. Looks like I-35 may still be messed up. Have you tried that yet? No, I have not. Okay, because obviously I have no idea what you just said. Do they have a veggie burger? I don't know. Yeah, well, well, you just said. It's a dumb question to ask. Well, it might have been that I'd heard or something like that, but I don't know. Well, it's police cars, but that's just wrecking traffic and blocking off the on ramp, etc. But we are finally getting to see police. <laughs> we are. We're seeing a lot of. We have seen a lot of cops. live back there. There's a way straight through here just all the way down Pleasant Valley. Yeah. It runs parallel to Pleasant Valley? Well, these streets run into Chestnut. He said something about 12th, 12th and Chestnut a minute ago. He's taking us back to I-35. I was about 28 when I was doing this more often. Huh? I was about 28 when I was doing this all the time. <laughs> oh, my cat. We had uh, adopted this wild cat. I mean, it wasn't feral, it was a stray house cat. It just kept coming around. I'm like, all right, man, come in. It's pretty cool. I called him Landon Kitty. His first night in the house, he sat on the couch and we watched Star Trek together. And I was like, "This is, this is gonna work." All right, so we got cherry wood. Just reporting to me, I had someone in front of the van. There's something 
5k? 500k, excuse me. Yeah. I don't fall on that, I don't fall on Be about 50 to 70k anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Do you need any help over there where you're at? Oh, no, I'm right where I wanted to be. Alright. Yep. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're going. That's yeah. the 41 year old. Over. I knew that, I just wasn't gonna, you know, I was gonna say anything. <laughs> See where you were at on it. Well, road humps are always a good sign. Anytime there's a good shortcut, the city of Austin will make it harder for you to take it. Oh. Yeah, anytime they have a bad road and there's any alternatives for it, they'll try to keep you from taking the alternatives. Huh. Really? Yeah. Like airport? Keeping everything concentrated over there? Yeah. They do. It's very true. Uh, there goes a dog. It'd be hilarious if we saw some officers. <laughs> <laughs> Name several times, even when you feel like you're on the same street. Because, yeah, eventually it'll turn into Pleasant Valley. Yeah. Here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
We have definitely arrived on scene. Don't pay me, Cap Spice. <laughs> huh? Don't want to park in the handicap no. space. <laughs> no, definitely, definitely don't want to do that. One nine two four. 